Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another interesting tutorial on DevOps and in this uh, video we are going to talk about HashiCorp Vault and this will be a very beginner's tutorial where I'll be going through the basics of what is HashiCorp Vault and uh, why do we use uh, Vault and what are the key features and what is the importance of the Vault in the DevOps uh, lifecycle. And we will also see how to set up a vault in a dev environment, which is pretty easy. We just go through quick commands and run through uh, in different uh, situations, whether it's Windows or Ubuntu or Linux. I, I will pro I most probably probably show you from CentOS, but I will also show you what's the documentation, how you can do it on different uh, type of instances. So let's get started on the topic. So uh, to start with, what is HashiCorp Vault? Okay, for those who has not heard about it. So HashiCorp Vault is an identity-based uh, secret and encryption management system. So what does that mean? Like, you know, in, in, in the organization, uh, if you know, like in platforms and overall in development, there will be a lot of uh, places where people use tokens, API keys, password, encryption keys, certificates, and, you know, this will be uh, stored in like plain text and people will be storing in different places, right? And uh, that is where, you know, what uh, the benefit of HashiCorp is like it provides encryption service that are gated by authentication and authorization method to ensure that this secure, auditable and restricted access to these secrets. So as I mentioned, what are these secrets? It can be tokens or API keys or passwords or encryption keys or certificates. And you can store all this information into a single place. And uh, you know, using HashiCorp Vault, you can get these information into your pipeline, into your code. Uh, whenever you run, uh, look for these secrets, uh, you know, the pipeline can get this from the HashiCorp Vault. So you don't have to store this anywhere like hard quarter, which is uh, uh, from a security point of view, it's very risky and there is always possibility like to leak the secrets or, or API tokens or keys outside and someone can get access into your uh, code and your applications and your infrastructure like that. So uh, HashiCorp Vault is a very uh, good uh, tool uh, to manage your secrets and uh, tokens, API keys and everything password. So uh, as I mentioned, like why Vault, right? This can be, there can be any different tools which you can use. So uh, again, I want to read like most of every enterprise, I believe there is no uh, enterprise or no company who don't have a credential which is spawned across different uh, places. Like these passwords, you will have password for Artifactory, you will have password for uh, your CI tools, you will have password for your other applications where you want to connect you will, if you have sonar cube or sonar cloud you have tokens you you will have you know uh, scanning tools like uh, sas tools or security scanning so that you need tokens api keys credential for all these applications to connect to interact uh, between these applications right and mostly what happens these are stored as a plain text or it's stored in the, your source code or some configuration file or other locations so why Vault? The, the key feature of Vault are the Vault give you a secured uh, secret storage. So what it means like Vault encrypts these secrets uh, and prior to writing them and it's stored into a persistent storage. And one of the very important uh, feature of Vault is a dynamic secret. So you can generate secrets on demand for some system. So whenever you want to access uh, some kind of application, you can generate the secret at the time when your pipeline runs so it just create a secret for that time so you don't have to have a hard coded or you don't have to give a higher permission secret for your team member or anything like that so this is a very important uh, feature in dynamic uh, having a dynamic secret and i think there is a different kind of um, uh, hashiko vault uh, support like if it's if you are using like a free you won't get that i think you need to go for enterprise so uh, based on your contract, you will have a uh, different uh, uh, level of access level, what you can do with different kind of uh, HashiCorp. And um, uh, from a data encryption, Vault uh, can encrypt and decrypt data without storing it. It is also very good. And the leasing and renewal, this is a very important features like with Vault, like all secrets in Vault have a lease associated with it. Like, you know, you, uh, you create a secret 
uh, whenever you try to uh, run some application and it's not like the secrets is uh, running for uh, like years or months so you can set a lease like it can be run for just an hour so it just runs and the the secrets are is you uh, know uh, it's the lease is over so it cannot be used anymore so Walt will automatically revoke that secret so it's a very important uh, feature which you can use with Walt and the revocation as well as, as I mentioned like you know Walt has this inpill support so secret revocation so Walt can revoke not only a single secret but uh, you know overall the tree of secrets so this is pretty interesting tool so uh, I don't know how many of you are using HashiCorp Vault or some other different tool uh, for um, your managing your secret you have different um, uh, other tools like you can store secrets like one password your secret manager secret uh, tools where you can store the secrets but I think HashiCorp Vault have uh, advanced um, sec features like dynamic secrets and leasing and those kind of things where you can easily integrate uh, HashiCo Vault with your CI CD pipeline so it will go through like an authentication and then it will check uh, which application you're looking for then it goes to Vault and it it create the secret for it so or, or it will look for the secret which we have stored in the Vault so this is a pretty uh, good uh, uh, information on this Vault I believe so uh, I'm sure if you have not heard about Walt, just go and have a look on what is HashiCorp Walt, and uh, how, I, I would be interested to hear how you are using your secret management in your organization, whether you are using Walt or some other different tools. So it'll be interesting for me to so put your uh, information in the comment section as well. So let's uh, get started about the installation. So I'm I'm just going to show you a simple installation of Walt in Dev mode. And uh, I'm, I'm going to show in a send away so where you we will be running this command about yum install and configuring the repo and installing the vault and uh, verifying the installation. And we will start the uh, vault dev server and we will check the status of it, how it's running. So uh, I will also show you the documentation if you're running like Ubuntu or uh, some other Fedora or Windows, you can use uh, uh, Walt installation on those instant in those kind of operating system as well. But we are not going to get in depth into the enterprise version or the licensed version of uh, Walt. This is uh, to just to show you a basic simple example. Uh, but I, as far as I know, like if you want to set up your licensed version of Vault, it will be completely different. So this is a non-production setup. So let's get started on that. And HashiCorp have a very good documentation. So I will link all these uh, links into the video description so you can go through it. So as I mentioned, you can do the installation for Mac, Windows or Linux. So all documentation is there. So we are going to start with uh, Linux and I'm going to run it on CentOS. So um, first I need to configure uh, you know, uh, to manage repositories and then I use the config manager to set the uh, HashiCorp repository uh, into that repository manager and then install Vault. So let me copy this and I have my CentOS machines running here. So I'm going to run uh, the necessary tool. So I'm just running it. You can see it just going to just take a few minutes. So it's done. So let me clear the screen. I'm going to run the next command uh, to add the repo into the config manager. So I'm going to just run it. It's done as well. And uh, next step is to install uh, the um, Vault. And if you see the difference, uh, this is uh, not the enterprise. If you want to install Vault Enterprise, it should be Vault Hyphen Enterprise. Okay. So as I mentioned, I'm going to run only a dev instance, so I'm not going to run uh, the enterprise version. So let's just wait for this installation to be completed. So we are almost done. Yeah, we are done with the uh, Vault installation. And uh, what's the next step? You verify the installation. So you just write uh, Vault. So you can see Vault installation is done and you have different kind of commands you can use like to read, write, delete, list, login. Uh, to your uh, Vault and you can start a server with Vault server and you can check the status with uh, Vault status. So you can go through this command. So as I mentioned, this is a very beginner uh, tutorial where I just want to show talk about Vault and uh, setup. So the next step is uh, to start a Vault server. And in order to start a dev server, you can go through in a Vault server and help. So you will get different kind of uh, 
um, options you have but I'm going to just run the simplest one like wall server dev so I'm going to just copy this and I'm going to clear the screen let me just run this and you can see what uh, dev mode is enabled so you can see we have to export this um, uh, address to have this enabled and you can see the unseal the key so just make sure that you copy this so if you want to unseal uh, when the wallet get logged you will need this and there is the, this is the root token to log into your uh, wallet okay and uh, as it's clearly mentioned this is the development mode development mode should not be used for production so since this is uh, not running on the back uh, backend uh, this is running on the live or on this um, session I need to open a different session and I need to set these parameters. So I'm going to set export in this session. So it's done. And then I check vault status. You should see the vault is running. So now you can see the sealed is false. And you can see the cluster name and the cluster ID and uh, HA is uh, false because it's just a single instance uh, vault. If you want to log into the vault you can use vault login and it will ask you the token so just go here so you should keep this token so as I mentioned so you should store it somewhere and just copy this and uh, put it here and you can see you're now authenticated so the token information will be this will be all. So now you're uh, logged into the vault. So you're uh, in the vault now. So um, I think I will stop this tutorial to this extent because it's a basic tutorial to run a vault instance and how to log into a vault. In the upcoming tutorials, I will talk about more about how to create secrets, how to you know, get the UI set up and uh, more more about how to in integrate uh, you know, the secrets uh, with your CI CD and all those things we can look into this in the upcoming tutorial so I want to stop this tutorial at this point and uh, I'm sure this tutorial is interesting for you so if you like uh, my tutorial um, I would request you to give a thumbs up and also like my uh, other videos go through it also give a subscription uh, to this channel so you can watch any new videos which i release also the old videos and uh, thank you for watching give your feedbacks in the comment sections